Yo guys, what is up? Moxie Reno, Borderlands 3 video, and today we are talking about Mayhem 2.0 updated Chain Zane. Now, we've got a few things to talk about today, not too much, but before we get into the video, I just want to say that we are at 85k subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. We are on the road to 100k, which is absolutely crazy. If you are enjoying the content, liking the videos, be sure to drop a sub and like the video, guys. It helps me out so much. Really do appreciate it. And with that, Let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so showing on screen right now should be the updated skill tree. And you may notice that we are not changing a single skill point. Now, this build really isn't changing at all. And I mean at all for Mayhem 10, which is a testament to how strong the build was. If you guys have played this build before, you know that it absolutely destroyed Mayhem 4, and it does the exact same thing to Mayhem 10. So I'm not going to be rehashing the entire build video. So if you guys haven't seen Chain Zane before, I'm going to redirect you to the original one because nothing's changing here. But I'm going to talk about some new things for Mayhem 10. Now, these Mayhem 10 weapons, these new ones, are extremely strong, and there isn't much use in using some of the other weapons. However, the redistributor with this setup, if you could get an M10-1, still performs extremely well. It is still the best in slot weapon for this build when it comes to clear speed. If you guys didn't know, just real quick rehash the redistributor. Every seventh shot is amped, amp shots chain to nearby enemies. When you throw your barrier down and have your barrier up, all of your shots become amped and therefore every single shot chains. We are keeping up this effect 100% of the time with the seeing dead comms use of good misfortune. Whenever we kill an enemy, we get action skill duration return, but the seeing dead class mod allows us to whenever we shoot an enemy or whenever we damage an enemy with our weapon, we have a chance to activate our kill skills. Good misfortune is a kill skill. So every time we shoot at an enemy, we get duration back and we're using some other tricks to keep up our damage, our movement speed, our unkillability, unkillability, unkillableness, and uh, our damage. Now, this build, St is still using the sentinel 100 cryo anoint this is the better anoint than the 200 weapon damage it is still the go-to and it works amazingly well on weapons like the reflux the redistributor the chaosin in the opq system now real quick the chaosin will kill single targets faster than the redistributor you could just look at its stats here um however the redistributor for mobbing is still better because of it of this chain effect. The chain kills enemies even faster than a higher base damage weapon. And even when compared to the reflux, I thought the reflux might be our replacement for the redistributor. Um, I still prefer the redistributor over the reflux. However, if you need some action skill back, the reflux is very strong. Now for single targets in Mayhem 10, the redistributor kind of sucks. 
Um, you're not going to want to be shooting this at enemies that are alone, that don't have enemies nearby. You're going to want to be using the KOs and, and the OPQ system. These are single target monster weapons. Now for our gear, still using an old god. I've got a cryo one with sentinel movement speed. There are some new shield anointments. This is still my preferred one. It's always active. We're always going to get that movement speed. We're scaling our damage off of our movement speed. And it's just nice to have. And then uh, grenades whether you're using a reoccurring hex or an itch piss one or the other with the on grenade throw because our action skills are always going to be up and they're never going to end which means we can't use ASE anointments seeing that amazing best zane mobbing calm easily however we switch this to the antifreeze when we go for boss killing the boss kills in the very beginning of the video uh the only thing that i'm doing is i'm switching to a snow drift and a antifreeze when i slide i'm gonna get damage the snow drift gives me slide speed i'm already scaling my damage off my slide speed when you use these two things together you get a round i believe it's 2400 percent increased gun damage at max speed when sliding because of the scaling of violent momentum and how fast we're actually moving which is busted uh, that makes this build extremely strong for bossing and extremely strong for mobbing. That is why I spec into seeing red here. That's because when I activate my action skills, which we can action, cancel, can action skill cancel. So for example, right now, um, I just pack my ASCs by pulling out my drone and then canceling it with my select button, which then procs my ASCs, which allow me to one shot bosses. And that is why I love this build so much. This is my favorite Zane build. Uh, Half-Life Zane is strong, but it's I don't like it as much as this because this is more survivability. Now, all you need to do when you go between bossing and mobbing is switch out the antifreeze and the seeing dead. And then I typically run with a pearl or an icebreaker victory rush, depending on what you have. If you're using weapons that have do splash damage, such as the OPQ, such as the KOs, and uh, you're better off getting something with area of effect damage, which increases splash damage, and using that on an icebreaker for victory rush. If you're using something that doesn't do splash damage, um, the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge is great, such as using that with the redistributors or the monarchs is really, really nice. Now, last thing, when you do do bossing, do do, shut up, uh, you're gonna put ASCs on and then you proc your ASCs slide and you can one shot things in terms of the build just going to quickly run through these things I'm not going to break down everything here basically borrowed time is going to give us max duration of our action skill because good misfortune is refunding max duration these two synergize really well and allow us to never have our action skill go down we can actually now run through the entire takedown and the Wotan fight from start to finish without ever dropping our action skill, even through the cutscene at Wotan, which is crazy. Um, we're using Borrowed Time, Supersonics Man, scaling our damage off of our movement speed, Donnie Brook for gun damage. We don't really care about the health uh, health regen because uh, we are using Salvation. Synchronicity for more gun damage. Our action skills are always active. Violent Momentum, movement speed, Violent Speed. More movement speed scaling off of that. Movement speed giving us damage. Salvation, one in life, so that's all you need. Drone delivery, dropping our grenade, giving us our 25 ASE, or 25 grenade throw annoyance. Deathfall is close. Plague 30, we don't need the full seven out of five. So we're going three in here with class one that gives us two. Violent violence is just our fire rate. Having this with double stacked is a crazy amount of fire rate. Good misfortune, seeing red for our bossing. And also, uh, one thing that you could do if you're like running around or something like that, and uh, you wanna proc your ASCs without canceling, you can just toss your um, shield off of the edge if you're running around. That'll proc your ASCs and give you your kill skills. And lastly, lastly, we're going Confident Competence, gonna give us more gun damage with All Rounder, and uh, these don't matter. We just, we're going here to get All Rounder so that our drone is, or our barrier is all around us, and that we never die. Brain Freeze for slow chance, and freezing, and then ready for action for our shield recharge rate. Guys, that's pretty much it for the build and the video. 
like I said, nothing really changing here. I'm uh, gonna talk about the modifiers, but this build works really well with any of the new weapons you give it. It still works the best with the redistributor, but truly, truly, if you guys transition from Mayhem 4 into Mayhem 10 with this build, you know that it still performs extremely well and doesn't really need any new changes. Um, I plan to be playing around with some new Zane builds in the future, but for those of you that wanted to see Chain Zane, here it is. Now, lastly, for modifiers, I some of the takedown footage, I you saw Dazed and Confused. I wanted to give Dazed and Confused as a very hard modifier a chance. I hated it. It's really annoying. Um, enemies become immune. So I've been rocking like Speed Demon and Rogue Light with Healy Avenger. Now, Pool Party, not my preferred thing, but if you want to use Pool Party and a Transformer, it's a very strong combo. You're already pretty much unkillable, so you don't need to switch that transformer. I prefer the old god. And yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something new. Speed Demon is sorry. Speed Demon is amazing because we're gonna get movement speed, and the more movement speed we have, the more gun damage. So that's just icing on the cake. And gives us even more damage so that we can shred mayhem 10 enemies even easier i really really prefer to have speed demon on um that's really a big adjustment to have on mayhem 10 and guys yeah that's it i'll catch you the next one peace